So walk me through the ending, that entire scene with you running into the house, you're hearing Josh is screaming, and ultimately that infamous face in the wall scene. But what do you recall the most about shooting that? Yeah, so that's the last day. Um, that's after we get in the car, we drive to another wooded location. And uh, my note, and Josh is already gone. Uh, P.S. I was told that I would be taken out first and that Josh would be towards the end of the film. One morning I wake up and they had taken Josh out and I was like, oh, I guess my part just got bigger. Sweet. <laughs> uh, and, and it turns out that they just, the dynamic between Josh and Heather, they felt that there was a lot of back and forth in the argument and there wasn't like a lot of ways to get out of that. So they just mm -hmm. killed him off as opposed to my arguments with her. They felt that there might have been a different approach. That's from what I've been told. Anyhow, we get into this car. We go to these, this, uh, this location. And my note simply says, you're going to hear something tonight. When you hear it, follow it all the way up. Wait till Heather gets next to you and then go all the way down, leaving Heather behind. That's the note in my canister. Wow. So I'm like, well, what the hell does this mean? Follow. So I assume it's going to be a noise. So I'm going to follow a noise. I'm thinking I couldn't get it out of my head. I'm thinking there must be a giant hill here. So, again, we never really tried to be in touch with the directors, except for when we tried to escape the woods. And this time I radioed Ed Sanchez and I said, Ed, I don't understand the note. He said, Mike, get off the walkie. I said, but Ed, I, I know this is the last night. I know it's it's October 31st. I don't want to ruin your movie. Please tell me what you're talking about in your note. He goes, when you see it, you'll understand. Get off the radio. Said, okay. So I fell asleep. Get up. And of course, I hear this. And it clearly sounded like a boombox, which is fascinating, too, because in the movie, it's magic. It doesn't sound like that. But yeah. Josh was in New York shooting a photography for a James Addiction concert while we were still in the woods. And his voice, Heather, Heather, Mike. And I hear it moving away from us. So I wake Heather up and let's follow this voice. This is the voice. Of, oh, now I know what I'm following. But where is it going to take me? So there's a line, Talal, in the film where uh, the camera pans up. And I think I'm holding the uh, video camera. No, she's holding the video camera. Whatever it is, at the same time we see the house, I literally say, oh, shit, it's a house. Yeah, yeah. And you scene. asked before, like, what, where's the break between Mike and Mike? Well, that was strictly me, the actor, going, <laughs> oh, shit. I got to go in there, go upstairs, wait for Heather. It all made sense in an instant. So that line of dialogue, the most authentic line of dialogue I've ever uttered as an actor in a movie or a play in my entire life is, oh, shit, it's a house. <laughs> so I go into the film. It's all doctored up, and there's baby shoes, and there's prints all over the walls and I it, you don't see anybody from production but you know they're in there mm -hmm. and that's freaky so I was definitely scared like straight up like somebody's just you know because like it's like jumping in somebody's gonna jump out and say boo like you're just ready for that and it's been an entire week of walking on eggshells so I see the stairs I'm like god I can't believe I gotta do this and now my heart is breaking because I know what I have to do to her and she doesn't know she's just following me I don't know what her note says but it doesn't say get stranded so when i get upstairs she comes up and she stands right next to me and i fly down the stairs all the way remember it says go all the way down so i'm like i gotta go to this cellar so her screaming my name that was like heartbreaking to me because i knew that she was in my opinion we were both scared we we're both at our wits end we we're both done with this movie we were both feeling like super emotional and stressed so her screams of my name were like going right through me as I was downstairs. And I was also scared because eventually I knew something would happen. So I run downstairs. She's screaming, screaming, screaming. I'm trying to ditch her and leave her behind, which I do. And as I get downstairs, Greg Hale, the hefty guy, he grabs me and brings me to the floor. And that's the end of the movie for me. So I mm -hmm. immediately just start to weep like a baby, like, oh, God, it's over. Thank God. And he goes, stop, get in the corner. Go get in the corner. He starts whispering in my ear, go get in the corner. I'm like, what, what? He's like, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. I'm like, holy shit. So I get up and I go stand in the corner and I'm just shell shocked in the corner. She's screaming, screaming, screaming. She comes down. He hits her. That's the end of the movie. So interestingly, I'll just tell you this. You could cut it if you want. But I was, I had the video camera at that point in the film. So I'm running down the stairs with the video camera. Oh, I did have the video camera when I say, oh, shit, it's the house. That's why I'm, uh, yeah, I did say that. So 
I'm running down the stairs with the video camera. Greg Hale hits me. Now the audio of her screams are coming from the video camera because the high, the super 16 camera, the black and white doesn't pick up audio and we don't have mm-hmm. the dat. So the entire scene, the audio is from that video camera. But when he hits me the first night, my hand hits the button of the video camera and it goes off. So there's no more sound. So we got to go back the next night after Denny's, after we take showers, <laughs> we got to go back the next night and reshoot the very end of this movie so that she can scream again so the video camera can pick up her scream. So the woman is brilliant, Heather. She She's just so, that was so authentic and so creepy and so real and so raw. And I will say this, the scene where she's uh, looking into the camera and she does her whole last rights thing, like, yeah, I, I don't know how you get there, man. I was doing some stuff that I was really proud of, but my God, that was just, that she just takes the cake, man. She was just brilliant. Yeah.